Okay, hi everybody. So I'm Steve Miller from Grow Physio, and I'm going to do a bit of an introduction relating to what you may find inside a pitch side run on bag. So, this is what we would have in our Premiership rugby bag uh, that we could draw upon. Um, again, there's various different options. I'm going to show you everything, and then you can kind of tailor it according to the sport that you are working in. So just on the left hand side here, what we've got are some of the things that we may decide to use pre-game to help with the preparation with some of these players. But again, some of the heat gels, the deep heats, um, some of the percutanes and things you may opt to put inside your bag in case something happens out there. Other things that are over here are things like your betadines, like your iodine uh, equivalents, really to clean wounds. And then obviously you've kind of got your um, kind of vapor rubs and things to help with congestion. One massive and really important thing that you will have to have is a, is a collection of gloves. So again, these are single use. We would always have these on and always wear them pitch side. Have a spare set in your pocket. And then what I also had in the glove is a small piece of gauze that we just turned over. So you'd have that in there. I'd probably have more of them in my pocket just in case there was a bigger bleed. But again, you can access that very quickly, use it and apply it to stem the blood flow really. Now, once you've got that on, what you may also have are some life saving bits of equipment, particularly airway management wise. So if you are on your own, having a couple of these options is a good idea really. So. You may have your oropharyngeal airways, which you'll size up accordingly, or your nasopharyngeal airway. The other thing that you will also want to be holding is your pocket mask. So make sure you've got a pocket mask that is available as well to avoid any sort of mouth to mouth stuff. Other players may have other underlying conditions or uh, things that they require. Some of these may include asthma. So you may want to get their inhaler, make sure that that is initialed for them individually. And similarly, with this, your contact lenses. So I hate putting contact lenses in. So again, it may be a good idea to have some water so they can clean their own hands, use a towel so they can um, dry them and apply themselves. And you may want to have a mirror at the same time. You may have some diabetics in your team or people who are really lacking um, any sort of energy levels. But again, these Energels are an excellent option for quickly restoring kind of glucose levels with people. The other kinds of fluids that you might have are salts really. So if you've got people who may are, maybe are cramping or uh, vulnerable to cramps, restoring some of the salts in that world can be really useful. Then clearly we've got the dispensable. So things like your taping options are really useful. So you may have your rigid tapes. What I would do with every single bit of tape is almost unravel the end. So you can see that when you get a new set of tape, what you will find is that it's a bit awkward to get even without gloves, it's quite tricky. What I would always do with that is just roll the end over just to make sure that that is easily accessed. So when you've got your gloves on, that can come off the roll really nicely. Other things that you may require, almost like a tail light style strap in, uh, again, really useful, comes in different colors and different sizes. Um, and then the other thing that you may have are your sort of EAB strap in. So again, you can see because the bag is prepped, We've pre-rolled over this and it comes off the, uh, the roll really nicely. The other thing in relation to that, which are really useful, are small bags. So you could just use sandwich bags. These are official uh, sort of ice bags, if you like, that we use. But again, you can put the tape in. So if the weather isn't very good, you don't. the worst thing that can happen is you open your bag up and not everything's absolutely drenched. So again, you can kind of segregate your bag accordingly, depending on what you want in there. The other things that you may have are like a petroleum jelly or sort of Vaseline equivalent for any of the sort of superficial wounds and things. Apply it with a clean glove, get rid of that glove and go from there. Other things that we may carry uh, in relation to sort of cryotherapy sort of style treatment to so your sort of freeze gels um, just to kind of get on top of acute injuries that way. Um, I think that is pretty much what you would have. Just make sure you've got plenty of spares within your, within your bag so you don't run out of whatever it is that you need. But hopefully that gives you a pretty good refresher in terms of what we would carry within our bag. You don't have to carry something as big as this. Um, you may opt for like a bum bag. You may have a, a satchel over, you, over your side. Whatever it is that you feel is the most comfortable and how much stuff you need. We needed loads in Rugby Union World, so we always opted with this. And all these products were from Physique, uh, an excellent uh, resource for us at Newcastle Falcons. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you all again soon.